Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com and I want to quickly show you the magic behind the J option pane in Java and show you how to use it to get input from the user. Now, as you can see, I've got Eclipse open here, just a little secret between you and me. It's actually Spring Source Tool Suite, but it's all the same. And I'm just going to create a, a new Java class in the com.mcnz.example package. And what am I going to call it? Well, I'll call it the J option pane example. Now that's pain, P A N E, not P A I N. We're not into pain, like causing you pain over here. We want to ease your pain, if anything. So I'm going to create that class. You'll notice that I did put a little main method in there. And there's one thing missing right now that I just have to implore you to add. Just do a little import. Import java.swing.star. And that's going to make classes in the javax.swing package available to you. And that's where you find the J option pane. Now you do notice there, I forgot the X for a second there. I'm so used to importing Java util or Java IO. Boy, I owe everybody something these days. But uh, there you go. You want that import. And then once you do that, you can start using this magical J option pane. So say I want to get the user's name. I can say var name and say, hey, J option pane show an input dialog box and you know prompt the user say what is your name Throw a little question mark on there semicolons everything looks good and well now we've got their name and well i guess at that point in time what can we do maybe generate some variable for the output so if our output equals that variable name plus yeah, we'll be kind, we'll say is such a nice name. Throw a little exclamation mark there and add my semicolons once again and wait for it. This is where the J option pane for user input, user output comes in again. I'm going to say J option pane, call on that J option pane once again, A-N-E, not A-I-N, and say, hey, why don't you actually show a message dialog box to the user as well? And what do you want to show? Well, I just want to show that output. I'm going to say null is the first character there just because uh, you can add a custom frame, but we're not going to do that quite yet. I got another tutorial that does that. But there you go. That's it. We get input from the user with the show input dialog. And then we're going to display information with the show message dialog. Now, are you from Missouri? Do we want me to show you this? Well, all I have to do is run this, run it as a Java application and Boom, all of a sudden I now get this window that says, what is your name? And you can see it mapping to that line on line eight there. And I'll say, my name's Cameron. And it says, hey, Cameron is such a nice name. And I guess that lap maps to line number 10 there. So there you go. That's how easy it is to use the J option pane to get input from the user. Now you can actually take it one step further if you want. I'm going to go digging deep into the rabbit hole here and I'm going to use a confirm dialog box. So I'll say var yes or no. So I'll get a little yes or no from the user and say j option pane dot show. And now I'm going to do show confirm dialog box. And oh, I don't need that many arguments. I'm just going to say what will it be? And oh, I'm running out of room over here. Got to create a little real estate. Throw that semicolon over there. I almost forgot my closing quote. But this is going to throw up a, a confirmation dialog box to you. If you don't believe me, I'm going to actually run it right now, although it's not going to do too much other than throw up a dialog box. But still, what will it be? That still looks pretty cool if you ask me. Now I'm going to click cancel there. Um, and I can say, hey, if yes or no, is equal to zero. Well, I think the zero means yes. So I can throw out a J option pane. And why don't we do the message dialog box again, show message dialog. And what are we going to say here? No, and I'll say, hey, you chose yes. Okay, that all looks good to me. Now, you know what, we can cheat a little here and do a little copy and paste. I think there's a couple of different options there. There's a one, and I think after one comes 
two, but don't quote me on that. If it's not yes, it's no. And if it's not yes or no, it's got to be cancel. And I think that all looks nice and handsome. But with all this code here, I can now take input from the user and figure out by getting information about a, a J, a confirmed dialog box, whether they click yes, no, or cancel. So what will it be? Yes? <laughs> you chose yes. Let's do it again, but let's choose no. You chose no. And you know what? I'm going to do it one more time, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to click here. This is going to be a surprise for you. <laughs> oh, I chose cancel. Well, there you go. Now, this is kind of taking you deep into the rabbit hole of J option panes, but it's all pretty cool. Now, I'm going to do one last one. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you if you want, you can just tune out now because it's going to get a little complicated here. Uh, this is not for the faint of heart. So if you just want to like this video, subscribe and, and then log off. I'm not going to judge you too harshly, but I'm going to use an options dialog box here. So I'm going to say string options equals, and I'm going to throw out a little array. I asked my boss for arrays the other day, and he said, no, use an array list instead. Brownie, pie, and cake. Ooh, I'm starting to get hungry here. Okay, so I create a little array there. If I can just find the correct keys on my keyboard. And using this array, I'm gonna pop up an array of options to a user. So I'll say the dessert that the user wants to select is equal to J option pane. You're probably getting used to that, but now it's show option dialog. So we throw that option dialog in there. The first argument will be no. The second will, I'll say, which dessert do you want? Oh boy, it's getting uh, running out of real estate again here. Um, now I'll say over here, which dessert? We'll say select one. Okay, and uh, we'll add some defaults here. We'll throw over here the options. Okay, the options here to put in is the options from this array over here. And then we'll add that first selected one. And now watch this. I can actually create a J option dialog that's fully customized. Which dessert will it be? Brownie, pie, or cake? And notice that option zero brownie is already highlighted right there. And there you go. That's how easy it is to just start working with a J option paint and really customizing this. Now, how do we figure out what was selected. Well, all I have to do is say if dessert equals equals zero. Well, what was zero in that array? Well, I can say J option pane dot show message dialog. And what do we want to say here? Well, the first one was a brownie. So I could say you chose a brownie. That all looks good, except for the white X over here. And I, I guess you do have to match your quotes when you've got your strings. But I'll throw this down here. After zero comes one, after one comes two. And I think in this here, it was pie and cake. And I can say pie and cake. Let's see if I can tighten this up a little bit so all the code exists on one screen that looks good control s to save and i'm going to run this run it as a java application and watch what happens if i click pi 3.14 and it says you chose 3.14 if i run this again and i ask for cake there you go you chose cake. And there you go. That's how easy it is to use the J option pane in Java to get input from the user and do it in a way that avoids the console, that avoids the Java scanner. It's just a nice, fun way to take input from the user using Java windowing options. It's super cool. So if you're learning Java or even you want to put together a, a real simple Java application that uses Java windows types elements, you know, use the J option pane. It's super easy. So anyways, if you did enjoy that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. Got lots of great tutorials on Java. 
HTML, web development, microservices, DevOps, Git, GitHub, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, why don't you head over to Twitter, uh, at CameronMCNZ is my handle. And oh, what's the other thing I always tell people to do? Oh, that's right. Subscribe on the YouTube.